Hello everyone. Welcome back. Oh, oh, glory be to God. We are together once again. I'm so happy. I truly am. I hope you all are doing well and blessed in the Lord. Um, I'm so excited because I have a very exciting escape dream. We can call it a rapture dream, but I didn't see that part. But it makes sense that we can feel that the Lord is leading us to the understanding that the, our escape, our calling is near. That's what we were told. And the Bible is true. And this dream uh, is a little obscure and, and I had to take some time to pray over it. But I do believe that it was leading us towards an understanding, which I do believe when I say us, I do believe it was something I was supposed to share. Um, uh, leading us to the understanding that we need to make ourselves ready. And I pray, I pray with a fervent heart that you are making yourselves ready. You're making your robes white. That you are stepping out of your sin, turning away from the world and seeking God's face. I pray. I do. Okay. Um, I don't want this to go too long, so I'm going to do this kind of old style like I used to do, and I'm going to read my notes. Uh, this is a dream that I had, and it says it right at the top. Um, I always put the date when I make notes it's from Halloween morning first thing um, I don't sleep very well and when I do sleep and get dreams it's usually within a very short amount of time and I want to say this is less than a two-hour window maybe closer to an hour and a half okay so I didn't want to just hand you this dream without praying over it, so that's why it's seven days later. Um, I want to make sure that what I offer you first is from the Lord, and I pray that you pray over this. Um, uh, seek God in this dream, and uh, feel that you also agree that it's from the Lord. And also, I wanted understanding, so what I could offer you, um, sometimes I'll just give you the dream and let you... Um, work it over and share with me in comments and we can fellowship but this one I do have kind of some ideas but I still want to know um, what the Lord presses on to you about this dream uh, but it took me a full seven days today the oh, I'm sorry today is uh, uh, November the 7th 2018 and I had this dream on October 31st uh, 2018 okay so I'm gonna get right to it Okay, um, let's see, so I'm reading past the, the date. Okay, I see myself in a restaurant or a diner in the morning in a booth with friends waiting to be served and have breakfast when someone ran up to me with a brown camel colored leather satchel bag in a hurry. This is exactly or very near what I saw, shape, color, and design. He was in a hurry or seemed exhausted and excited, like in a rush. He said that we were in the middle of a game, and it was a big game. It was to escape, and if you want to play, you need this bag. Okay, quick sidebar, um, the escape was from the diner itself. The whole diner was the escape room. So I'm kind of adding the room to it because it wasn't a room, it was the whole diner. And we used all the space of the diner in the game. Okay, sorry, back to the dream. Uh, let's see. Um, we needed the bag. We all were very surprised and confused, but looked around and decided to play the game. I don't remember all the details um, 
of the game, but I do remember that we had to work together and it was to escape the diner itself. Uh, it was to move through the diner in different areas. So we moved from different areas of the diner answering questions uh, using the satchel until we got to the end. When we finally answered the last clue, I remember being excited and exhausted, uh, like completely like wiped out, like I had nothing left. At, um, excuse me, at the same time, still in shock and disbelief because um, this happened out of nowhere. Uh, no warning and full throttle throughout the whole game. Um, so we're just like, from the minute we were offered to the end, we were pushing um, as fast as we could. Um, we were sitting in the back of the diner where no one else really was and, it, and kind of panting and exhausted. Some of our group left the diner. Now this I think is interesting. I don't know who this person is, but I name a, a, a man's name. Sam. Okay, sorry, sidebar. I remember sitting in one of these booths and it did have red leather seats. And we we're I think we were in the very back of the diner. Um, it was kind of dark. I don't know if we had windows. Very similar to this idea. And Sam was sitting across from me in the booth. Okay, sorry. Um, back to the dream. Okay, um, the group left and Sam stayed at the table and Sam... Uh, went back to watch the next game beginning. I sat at a far table and rested. Then I went back, or and then I gathered my thoughts. I remembered feeling joyful and content, joyful and contentment, and excited that we were actually finished. That we actually finished the game and did well. Uh, I got up from the table and I sat at one of the bar stools and watch the next game start. And then I realized that the people that were in the diner were also people who had played the game and had gone through what I had gone through, just like me. They were watching the games just like I was watching the games. We, um, we sat and watched the new team being, being collected. So this is game two. So now this is the second escape game. Sorry, sidebar. Okay, um, so we watched the second team being collected uh, and, and them being asked if they want to accept to play the game and uh, answering the clues using the satchel. When it was, um, so they went through the same process we did. Uh, the, the person ran over exhausted with the satchel to ask them if they played the game. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, I was still at the diner and I was one of the ones who had to collect the third team. I remember I had the brown satchel, the leather satchel, in my hand and I raced over to the table pretending to be in a huge hurry uh, or rush, excited, and I had to find the new team, and I went to the original table we were sitting at um, earlier and asked them if they wanted to play the game. And I explained to them that this was a game and they needed the satchel to play. Um, if they wanted to play the game, um, they had to start now. But I did it a little differently. I explained to the whole diner that this was a part of the game and that, that, and that they would be playing in the diner to escape. And that was the end of my dream. Okay, so first I wanted to um, show this picture when I ran up to the table, this is what the diners looked like. They looked excited and surprised um, that I ran into them. And I'm guessing that's the expression 
we looked like when the gentleman ran up to us. Uh, it was, we were caught by surprise. We weren't expecting it. We were expecting to have a meal and ended up, this person was in our face. So I was that person this time. And I had to choose the table and I happened to choose the table we were sitting in prior. And once they decided to play the game, they looked happy and excited and ready to play. Like, they're like gun ho and yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Okay, so um, I just want to quickly kind of go over what I think this might be about. I mean, it's obvious it's the escape where we have to work together in this, this clues or this struggle or tribulation, whatever you want to call it. We had to use this satchel, which I think is the Bible, um, to work together as a team, so the, the body of Christ working together um, to go through, but there was three um, escapes. It was the one I was in originally, then while we were resting, um, then Sam, whoever Sam is, and I, I haven't looked, even thought about Sam, uh, went to, uh, I'm sure there's some importance to either the name Sam or his, maybe, I don't know. But Sam went out and see the, uh, went to the, watch the second game, and then I chose the third game. So I was like, why are there three? Why are there three escapes? And um, I prayed over and prayed over and prayed over it, and uh, I had some ideas, and I'm just going to give you right, I'm going to get right to the point. Okay, I believe the three escapes are the three... Um, uh, three of the peop, uh, groups or people that will be risen into the air. The first are, oh, I'm sorry, not this one. Yes, oh, sorry, I got excited. The first in Revelation 11, 11 through 12, um, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them and stood uh, upon their and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them the two witnesses I think that's one escape two I think the second escape is the dead that in Christ that are called to rise. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and with, a, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we be with the Lord so I believe 16 is the dead and 17 is us escape 2 and escape 3 now this is my idea and I'm, I'm gonna um, end the video very soon okay so like we all say we do not know because the Bible tells us and we know the Bible is true so we don't know the day or the hour but we are to know the season so we can prepare ourselves and be awake and aware and and to uh, not be found wanting and I know I think I grabbed about six Gospels there so please <laughs> please forgive me for um, the mix-up with all the Gospels that I spoke of just a moment ago but basically in a nutshell um, sorry for that. Uh, that in a nutshell, I think that's where we kind of are. We need to be awake and aware in these times. Now, I want to share two beautiful things that happened to me today. Um, well, I, you know, uh, basically, um, I slept past my alarm because I didn't, you know, I only had an hour of sleep this morning as normal, uh, and I literally turned my alarm off, and I woke up to hear. A bird singing outside of my window like straight up Cinderella <laughs> singing as loud as he can through the glass through the window at my at my window just 
just singing, 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 singing. And I wasn't even mad. I woke up, looked around, and I said, thank you, Lord, because I knew I had slept past my alarm. Well, the thing of it is, I don't know if you all remember, I've done a couple of videos. I live in a high rise. I'm stories up into the air. So this bird, and I don't have a balcony. So he had to fly up to a small ledge, many feet in the air, to get to my window. So I believe that was God waking me up this morning, which is so beautiful. And I still thank him. Thank you, because my daughter was not late to school, and we were able to stay on track for our day. And then the other thing was I was given um, a lock and key for the locker at the gym. I normally don't use a locker, um, but I needed one today. And I received number 20, or excuse me, yeah, um, she gave me a lock, and it was number 24, and then she gave me, and then I walked in, but I didn't notice the number, uh, when I, you know, I just got a lock. I went to the locker, and I picked number 42. I looked at it, and it said number 42, and when I was locking it up, I noticed on the lock, it said number 24, and when I looked it up in Strong's, this is what I saw. Okay, this was the locker, and that was the lock. Okay, 42 is um, a noun, feminine, and it says holiness, a holy or sanctified state, which I thought, that was beautiful, because it was just random. I just randomly picked 42 locker, and um, then I checked out 24. 24 is a noun, feminine, indignation, feeling of anger, indignation, vexation. So it's the opposite or counter, I won't say exact opposite, but it's the counter of the in the holiness state, you know, humble and good and all that, to this feeling of anger and indignation. And so it almost was like a yin and a yang. It was the it was the the counter to. So I think that's where we are. We need to choose that holiness. We need to choose that state of holiness and not fall into the feeling of anger and indignation it's it's a balance and we need to make that choice just like in the dream they were asked we were asked in the dream if we wanted to play the game we had to choose and then we uh, once we chose the game it was fast forward we were in it and we needed that satchel to get through it and we had to work together through it but it was a choice we made just like this, you have. we need to choose to be good. We need to choose the holiness. We need to choose, and I'm going to say it, we need to choose God. We need to choose to walk with Jesus Christ. We need to believe in His sacrifice that He made. The blood sacrifice to wipe our sins away. To give us the opportunity of an everlasting life with God in heaven and Him, Jesus Christ. And be filled with the Holy Ghost so that we can get through this walk. Um, I don't want to say easy because it's not. Um, the Holy Ghost within us lifts us up and keeps us up. And if we fall down, it helps us to stand again. It's within us. Because once we give ourselves to God, we are filled with the Holy Ghost. Our vessel, our body, is filled with the Holy Ghost because we have given ourselves to the Lord. So I pray on this day, November 7th, 2017, excuse me, 18, listen to me, 18, that you have made this choice for holiness, 42 and not 24. So as in my dream, there are three escapes and the Antichrist is going to be revealed. The Lord is going to release him and we need to remember and not be deceived and then remember that many things need to happen before our escape. So we need to be patient and humble and stay in prayer. And you're not alone. We're all together. A biblical family waiting for the call from our Lord. 
so we may be in the air. God bless you all. Please take care. I love you, and God loves you so much more. The escape, the escape is soon, and I pray that we are found worthy. Amen. Please take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.